the U.S. Navy launched its USS Indiana Most Deadly Attack Submarine, SSN. On June 2018, the shipbuilder Huntington Inc. Halls delivered the future USS Indiana, SSN 789, to the U.S. Navy. The USS Indiana is the latest Virginia-class submarine, the U.S. Navy's most advanced nuclear-powered attack submarine, SSNs. It is the 16th Virginia-class submarine to be delivered. It is also the 6th of the Virginia-class Block 3 submarines. As the Naval Sea Systems Command explained in the aforementioned press release, Block 3 submarines feature a redesigned bow with enhanced payload capabilities, replacing 12 individual vertical launch tubes with two large diameter Virginia payload tubes, each capable of launching six Tomahawk cruise missiles. These, among other design changes, reduce the submarine's acquisition cost while maintaining their outstanding warfighting capabilities. The Virginia-class SSNs are 377 feet in length and 34 feet by beam. Each ship displaces 7,800 tons while submerged, far less than America's Sea Wolf SSNs, and cruises at more than 25 knots. The earlier Block II boasted 12 vertical launch tubes and four 533 mm torpedo tubes. As the, the press release noted, the Block III subs replace the vertical launch tubes with the Virginia payload tubes, the SSNs can hold up to 26 Mark 48 Mod 6 heavyweight torpedoes and Harpoon anti-ship missiles. Indeed, Naval Sea Systems Command noted that Virginia-class submarines can operate in both littoral and deep waters and conduct anti-submarine warfare anti-surface ship warfare, strike warfare, special operations forces support, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, irregular warfare and mine warfare missions. America's latest attack submarines will eventually replace the Los Angeles class SSNs currently in use. The Sea Wolf SSNs were initially slated to be the Los Angeles class's replacement, but that plan was nixed because of cost overruns and strategic considerations after only three subs were built. The U.S. Navy has been emphasizing the need to increase the rate of production of the Virginia class submarines. Washington was initially only expecting to produce two of the new SSNs a year and only one of the vessels during the years it was also building new Columbia-class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, SSBN. The Columbia-class are the successor to America's Ohio-class SSBNs. Last year, however, the U.S. Navy updated its acquisition goals from 30 Virginia-class subs to 48 of them. This was part of Admiral John Richardson's the Chief of Naval Operations, stated goal of having 66 attack submarines in the fleet. At the time of this announcement, Dave Majumda noted that the U.S. Navy would have to produce at least two SSNs every year, including the years it built the Columbia class, to have any shot of reaching 66 SSNs. But really, Majumda noted, the U.S. Navy would need to start building three of them each year to reach that goal. The U.S. Navy is confident it can do this. Rear Admiral Michael Jubilee, who is the top submarine program manager in the U.S. Navy, told Defense News, I look at it in terms of, what is the capacity of each of these suppliers? Will they be able to handle this change from two subs per year to as much as four and a half subs per year? That suggests the Navy hopes to build three SSNs even in the years it is building SSBNs. Part of this optimism stems from the hope that the service can reduce the production time for each subs. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.